today I am going to be playing Ice Flows, which is a game about penguins. And so basically you control the size of the ice sheet and get the penguins to wherever they want to go. And like there's climate change and all sorts of fun stuff. So I am excited for penguins. Okay, I'm gonna pick a penguin. <gasps> oh, I don't have any money, so actually I can't pick a penguin. But that's okay, because maybe I'll get some money and then I can... I'll get a penguin later on. That'll be the goal. Okay. We're gonna do training. Okay, so penguins needs feeding, learn how to alter the ice flow to help get them to their fish, and high five their friends along the way. For each level, you can earn one, two, or three stars. For every two stars you earn, a new level is unlocked. You can also earn credits, which can be spent in the penguin shop to unlock new characters. Let me do that. Okay, level one. Up. Okay, learn how to alter the ice flow to help get your penguins to high five across the albatrosses. Get two points to get one star, four points gets two stars, six points gets three stars. The more points you get, the more stars and credits you get. Stars unlock new levels, credits let you purchase new characters in the shop. Okay, move the left, move the left slider to create snow. The more snow you get, the thicker, the, the more snow you add, the thicker the ice gets. And then I just like, how does this, oh, okay. So I'm like controlling the, Okay, why five the birds by getting the penguins close enough to reach the birds' wings? Oh boy. Oh, so am I like... Are we high-fiving? Come on. Yeah! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I just want to befriend the little birds. Oh. Yeah, I'll trust the seagull. Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, I have three stars. I have no fish. I have no clue where the fish come in. I get eight points. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Uh, did that. Woo! Okay. Turn up the sea temperature to speed up the ice melting. Drop your penguins onto the fish to earn points. 10 points is 1 star, 20 is 2 stars, 30 is 3 stars. For every 2 stars, a new level is unlocked. I think that's probably gonna be a trend. <laughs> okay. Ooh, water. Oh, so if the higher the water temperature, the thinner the. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's too much. I think the seal's gonna eat me, so I should probably- Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that is a terrible- Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so I got some fish. Oh no, I don't want the seal to get me. That made me very sad. Oh no. Oh wait, this is stressful. Ooh. <laughs> I got no stars. Time to do it again. <laughs> See if I can do better this time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my hardest. Thank you for Ooh. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Toast it up a bit. Not toasty enough. Because if it's too toasty, then I melt the penguins straight into the seal, and then all my friends are gone. I, I really don't. I like my friends, I want to keep them. Ooh, I think I got two stars. Yeah! That means I can move on. <laughs> I don't have to do it a third time. Okay. More levels. Level three! What are we doing? Oh no! Get the balance between the snow and the melt range right in order to control where the penguins make the dives. Same star thing. Does mean I have to do both at once? I am not excited. I think this is a very cute game. Somewhat confusing. Because I don't know how to think. Oh, I should be playing and not talking as much. So I need to high five the birds and then get the fish too. Okay. Oh, this is a lot. My brain cannot multitask, so this is... Got a bird. I don't want to die. I like that there's not really any penalty for getting eaten. It doesn't take away points, it's just like, ah, you... Yeah, as I say that, of course I die twice in a row. Cool, that's fine. This is fine, I'm just murdering my friends. I just wanna... I got two stars again! I don't know if I'm ever gonna get three stars again. That's okay. How many penguin monies do I have? I want a new friend. If I... Let's see if... Okay, 58. I need 100 to get a new friend. Cool. Did I save my spot? Or am I starting over? It saved it! That's nice. It is always appreciated when you don't have to start over every single time. No. The shape of the ground affects the way the ice sheets advance and retreat. Okay. We'll see if I can change the... Oh, the bedrock. Okay. Where do I control the bedrock? Oh, I don't control the bedrock. It's just controlled for me. <laughs> Obstacle. I see, I see. Friends with birds. Oh, I am a bird. Okay, we got some fish. I think I might have got a bird. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can mess with, like, the slope and... the <laughs> temperature without just completely... Oh wait, that rises it. For some reason, I cannot get these instructions through my tiny little brain. But, I'm trying my best. And... Oh, come on! I was so close. Actually, I wasn't that close to more stars, because the birds are only two points. So I got four birds and three fish. That's... That's something. So I think every point is a dollar. That might have already been said, but... What is the cue? Quiz round? Oh! Earn some extra stars to unlock more levels. Oh, where'd it go? The penguins need feeding. Learn how to manipulate the ice flow to help them get the fish. For each level, you can earn one or two stars. One, two, or three. You can also earn credits. I think I've read all this. To be spent. New friends. Well, oh, I don't know anything. I never learned about penguins. Maybe I did. Okay. What is the name of the process when an iceberg breaks off an ice shelf? I'm gonna say iceberg spawning. It is not. It is iceberg calving. 
Okay. Am I just expected to know these things? They don't... Okay. It would be nice if they say, Hey, here's some fun trivia throughout the game, instead of saying, like, you get points if you know trivia, but we're not going to tell you. So it's not like a memory thing, it's just a, hope you know it. But anyways, what is an ice sheet made of? Ice. I'm assuming it's either frozen seawater or compacted snow. But I don't know. Because I think the snow would melt when it hits the ice. Or the snow melts when it hits water. Seems. So I'm going to go with frozen seawater. If it will let me click it. Oh, okay, I'm wrong. Compacted snow. So apparently the snow just falls and sits on the ice. And then we have ice for our little penguin friends. Have a look at the tutorial. Did the tutorial teach you things? I didn't watch the tutorial. Maybe I should have done that. What is the floating ice extension of the ice sheet called? I'm going to say mm, it's either a shelf or a ledge. I'm going to go with shelf. There's a big delay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's not... This is not the speediest game when it comes to the quizzes. What is the warmer water which circulates around Antarctica called? The, I'm not going to try to pronounce things because I don't think I can. I'm going to say it's a transpolar drift stream. I think after this I'm going to go actually look at the tutorial and see if they teach us fun facts. I don't want to be mean to the game. No, nope, okay, I'm wrong. Circumpolar deep water. Have a look at the tutorial. Okay, so maybe a tutorial is useful. I got a whole star, wow! I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so I don't know if my computer is just, like, being slow, because having streaming and game, but I'm going to turn the volume down, because I don't know how loud it is. I don't want to be blasting people. Okay, let's play tutorial after I've done all the training. I'm in cheese. This game is called Ice Flows because it does! Ice flows due to gravity, much like a blob of tree gold does. Though quite a bit slower. Click this message to continue. A nice sheet is made of a snow. Okay, so they do tell you the answers if you do t -t the tutorial like a logical person. A nice sheet is made up of snow, which has fallen. Each layer of snow slowly changes into ice because of the heavy weight of the snow that falls on top. If the ice is thick enough, it becomes grounded on the bedrock below, even if the bedrock is below sea level. This is called a marine ice sheet. So like, ice... okay, cool. The grounding line is the point in which the ice sheet isn't thick enough to be grounded and starts to flow. Okay, so like, this is the grounding line. Or, it's pointing to the grounding line. So the grounding line is right here. So when it's like, mm, so the ice doesn't fully reach the bottom. An ice shelf is a floating extension to the ice sheet. They look a bit like a shelf. Hmm, wonder where the name came from. They melt from below because the ocean water can get underneath. That's kind of weird. You would think it would melt from above, but. Huh. Well, I guess the air is probably, like, super cold, and the water is less cold. An iceberg forms when a part of the ice shelf breaks off, called an iceberg halving. Oh, okay, okay. I'm learning so much. The amount of ice lost through melting and halving is equal to the snow input. The ice sheet stays the same. This is a lot of information. I'm not gonna remember it. The ice flows at a rate to balance these inputs and outputs. Oh, so. If the amount of ice lost through melting and calving is greater than the snow input, the ice sheet rates. Okay. 
Is the penguin like telling me to move things? Nope. It's just pointing at I can. Also, the penguin is a cute, cute little shape because it's very geometric. If the amount of ice lost through melting and calving is less than the snow input, the ice sheet advances. I also think it's funny how the ice is like. It looks like it's flowing. And I'm sure this is sped up compared to actual ice. But maybe not, because you know. Alright, Antarctica is a region of relatively warm, for the polar regions, water called circumpolar water. It is normally in the deeper areas around Antarctica, but some winds at the surface of the ocean can cause it to be drawn near the ice sheet. This will increase melting and calving, which will cause the ice sheet to retreat and less snowfall is Often the bedrock slopes downwards and the ice sheet. This is called a reverse slope. Okay, so that's the reverse slope. I don't know if you can see my mouse. I hope you can. There's a theory that once an ice sheet starts to retreat down a reverse slope, it is harder to stop the retreat. Okay. Play with the melt rate and snow input rate sliders and see what happens to the ice sheet. Okay. Bye, penguin. My friend is gone. That's okay. This... Shouldn't this make it- oh yeah, so this makes it a lot thicker, so like, more ice. Oh, and it- the graphics change, so like when there's- yeah, so the snow is falling slower and it's kind of more dispersed. Oh yeah, it is very much more dispersed, but then if you- the more you increase, then it's like, woohoo, we're having a blizzard. It's very fun for penguins. And then you get those little big snowflakes. That- yeah, we're just gonna that. Does this maybe change like the size of the sun? I can't really tell. I don't think it does. There's the sun. What if it's super tiny? I don't think the size of the sun changes. I might just have terrible vision. But that is the tutorial that I have decided to play after the first round. And wait, do I have enough to buy a new friend? No, I do not. I just, I want... I kind of want Chili the Dino- No, I want Zulong the Snow Dragon. That is my goal. To get a Snow Dragon. I think that would be very fun to have as a friend. Okay. Road. Okay, so the Rhone Ice Shelf, there's 340,000 square kilometers, which is similar in size to Germany. The average thickness is 650 meters. Oh my god. Named after American Edith Rhone, one of the first women to overwinter in Antarctica, 1946 to 1948. I love that it's named after a woman. A woman. <laughs> that makes me very happy. Oh, I can skip to level 2 without playing level 1? I don't feel like that should be allowed, but okay. So, foundation ice stream, the fastest flow speed is 610 meters a year, average bed height is 100 meters above sea level, the lowest bed height is 2,000 meters below sea level, total potential contribution to sea level rise is 2.72 meters, it was named for the U.S. National Science Foundation. That's us. That's our country. Oh god, we're playing. We're playing. I wanted to drink my tea first, but that's not gonna happen. Okay. Ooh, we're sloping. We're sliding. I think that's a- ah, dang it. Oh, no. Okay, so this needs to be higher. Come on! Hit the seagull! Be friend- Yeah, I'm not gonna do all this. Maybe? Oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I like- I feel like realistically the penguins would- hit the rock and just eat it. I have no points. And it's two-thirds of the way done. I don't even hit... hit nothing. 
Oh. That's not gonna be enough to help me complete the level. Come on, why can't I hit? Wow, I got five whole points. That means I get no stars. <laughs> Time to try again. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually finish this game. I thought it was gonna be fun and cute, but apparently I'm bad at controlling eyes. We read that. Okay. Let's break it a little higher. Make this a little toastier. So realistically. Goodness gracious, how tall does this need to be for the penguins? Okay, so we got some fish. I don't think I'm gonna get the birds. I just don't. Like, how am I supposed to? Do I just do it lower? This makes absolutely no sense. I'm just hoping. I'm not ignoring the, the birds. The fish are the goal. The fish are five points, so I need like four chunks of fish. I've got two, so I need two more. And I. That's. Not gonna happen. Nope. If anyone is watching this, I hope you're having. Watching me fail and starve little penguins. I feel guilty. They deserve a better friend. Okay. Okay. I have been informed that I have a whole viewer at least. I don't know how to go check the chat. So, Abby, if you're here, hi, I love you. Um, if anyone else is here, I probably love you too. What's up? We're friends, all of us. I'm wait. Abby's typing. I don't know how this chat works, so my best bud is supposedly watching this right now and just texting me. Dr. Godrich commented too! Hi, Dr. Godrich! I don't know how to check the chat. I'm too invested in penguins. Hope you're having a good time watching this. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> it's going very poorly. Maybe if it wasn't full screen? I made progress. How do I... Let's see if I can find my friends. Which, what's up, friends? Oh, no! Hello. Oh, goodness. Golfing, this looks great. It will be interesting to see how this info dump relates to the mechanics. Uh -huh. Okay, so you get points. I am so late to this. I'm so sorry. I don't know how stream works yet. We're working on it. Um, you get points. You get two points for, like, high-fiving the seagulls, and you get five points for eating the fish, and sometimes you die if you fall onto a seagull. No, if you fall into a seal, then you die. Penguin, yeah, poor penguin. I don't know if the penguins fly. I do not know. Um, I thought chat things were supposed to come up here. I tried to make it to where that would happen, but apparently it didn't. But I'm gonna go back to these penguins and see if I can maybe free them from... Okay. We're going back. Yeah, I should probably figure out how to actually see the chat and play the game at the same time. That's gonna be a goal for next week, I think. <laughs> okay. So I need to heat it up. See, I feel like the penguins should be hitting the birds. Because, like, no matter how I do it, they will not hit those little stinking birds. I thought this game was going to be, like, cute and simple, and I was going to have a good time. But it is stressful. I've played the same level so many times in a row. But... I have 15 points, and I only need 20 to complete it, so... Maybe, oh come on, please. Please. Yes! 
Okay, so I finally will make it past this level once it's done. Yeah, those little, like, seals will eat you, which makes me sad. <laughs> okay, let's try level two, which I don't think I'm qualified for. Dyer's on the flow speed. Okay, so the fastest flow speed is 400 meters a year. Average, that's like a meter a day, a little over. That's a lot. Average bed height is 350 meters. Below sea level, the lowest bed height is 1,800 meters. And below sea level, the total potential contribution to sea level rise is 400. No, can't read. 46 centimeters. Named for the Scott Polar Research Institute in Cambridge, UK. Thank you. Oh no. Not again. I think I'm kind of giving up on the seagulls. I don't... Can I fly? Dr. Goddard said something about flying. Can we fly? I don't think they can fly. Penguins can't fly, so why in the game would they be able to fly? Come on, man. Giving me false information. Okay. This is not going well. <laughs> what a surprise. Am I gonna get another quiz? That Cause now I've actually learned the information that I'm supposed to? Pokemon. I think I have to complete all five of like this section to get another quiz to- Oh, I'm sorry, Penguin. Uh oh, not- mm, I killed two of my friends. That is unfortunate. Oh god, this is so much. Okay. The Rutford- so I'm just like traveling all- uh, I think it just now hit me. These little lines are the ice streams that I'm playing. So this line three right here is the Rutford ice stream. And then four also is- falls into the same stream. Okay, okay. I was just paying attention to words, not graphics. So anyways, Rutford Ice Stream is 370 meters a year. It's a little slower than the other one. Average bed height is 580. Lowest bed height is 2500. And potential contribution to sea level rise is 13 centimeters. Like, a year overall? Also, I don't really know what these things mean, but... And it's named after a U.S. geologist, so we have, what, two things named after someone from our country? That's cool, I guess. I hope we're not, like, ruining, ruining the Antarctic. Oh, oh, I'm gonna high-five it. Oh, I did it. My dog looked up at me because she's, she's excited for me. She's excited that I'm making friends. Oh, come on. I hope everyone watching this is having a good time. Abby said- Oh, Dr. Godrich laughed. I respect that, he's a busy man. <laughs> here I am, just killing my penguins. Yeah, Abby, if you're still here, I need to stop. How am I supposed to control the ice level rising? And melting. And keep up with what Abby has to say. Dr. Gunner abandoned me. Oh, come on. I am so close to 20. Time to play this round again. I know. Wait. I can still- No, I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna actually- I thought I had to get two stars to play the next level, but I guess not, so we're gonna... Oh, there's fish right in front of the seals! That seems risky, in my opinion. I think I'd probably accidentally kill my friends, so I'm just gonna focus on the fish, like, in the- oh. Okay, like the fish towards the back. Cause I don't- I don't like it uh, when my friends die. It makes me... 
as I say that and I kill my friends. That's fine. I'm not gonna get those. Ooh, oh, I'm so close. I just need a little bit more and I will complete this level. I just need a I just need to high five a friend. Oh, and I did it. Look at me go. A genius. Oh, I get to do another quiz. Okay. So, Abby. You weren't here earlier. So, I get in this tutorial that I played after I did the whole like first section. I there was a quiz. Wait, no. My brain is not going. So, in the tutorial, they were like, hey, here's a bunch of fun facts about the icebergs. And I said, okay, cool. And then there's a quiz that gives you questions. When the bedrock slopes from the down from uh, when the bedrock slopes downwards inland from the grounding line, what is this called? I'm pretty sure it's a backward slope or a reverse slope. I'm gonna hit backwards and hope for the best. Okay, that's fine. It also takes forever to like load. How fast is an average ice stream flow? Here. Hundreds of meters. I paid attention. Nice one. Thank you. I have my cow, my cow mug with tea because I'm diseased. Where is warmer water normally found? I'm going to say beneath the ice shelf because I feel like deep would be colder, and everywhere just sounds stupid. Okay, I'm wrong, that's fine. If you, I hope you can hear the music. We can have a little dance party while we wait. Oh, those are big words. What may force the warmer ice water to go beneath the ice shelf? Tectonic plates, leverage seals, changing wind stress. None of this was in the tutorial. Abby can hear the music. I my typing in chat. I don't know how to see the chat. If you know how to tell me that, the chat is now my phone. So, maybe I should just give my phone number out at the beginning of a stream. And people can just text me and that'll be the chat. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Very tempted. How big was the iceberg A38 that broke the bone ice shelf? Oh god. I think you need third party software to be chat. Okay. I thought I downloaded the streaming software that I need, but apparently I'm wrong. That's fine. So, I, uh, you get two stars. Two stars where? Just in general? So apparently I'm gonna have to download third party software to party with. More ice streams. Okay, so the Flitcher ice shelf is 80,000 square kilometers. This is Austria. My mom lived there for a bit. Cool lady. Average thickness is 820 meters, named after Wilhelm Fleischner, leader of the 1912 German Antarctic Expedition. Cool. Fastest slope speed is 180. That's pretty slow. Average bed height is 250. The lowest bed height is 1600. Total potential contribution to sea level rise. On restream, you need to select settings. I, I'm going to deal with that later. Abby is texting me how to be able to see the chat for future reference, but I'm just focused on my little friends right now. Abby's typing. Okay. I feel like this is- yes, you are. I feel like this is very boring for anyone watching, which is probably why Dr. Gregory left, because he's like, I don't want to watch this kid. 
just murder penguins for however long this is happening. I think my goal was to finish the game. Even though he said like half an hour stream. But I think it's been like a little bit longer than that. But I really want to finish it. And now I'm too busy talking. Maybe I need to play like interactive games that are just like story games where I just have to read instead of like talking and focusing on a game and trying to keep up with the chat because my brain is not mm -mm. <laughs> not able to do that okay so there's three levels left I think this is gonna happen okay so the slesser ice stream is speedy so it's 450 meters a year it's five meters above sea level so like right at it bed height is 2100 meters i still don't know what that means potential contribution to sea level rise is 2.84 meters everything else was like 10 to 20 centimeters i think it's named after the raft sir john slesser that guy has contributed a lot to sea level rise, my friend. Abby said to check the chat, because there's funny things. So, hello chat. Oh god. Now you can see all my fun things. <sighs> okay. Can I... Okay. Game is paused. I'm here. Gotta run. Great job. Thank you, Dr. Godrich. You killed them. I'm sorry. Bible thump? No! You can't Bible thump me. Turn here down. Like, the music? Is it too loud? Heat down. Stop, you're killing them. Chat, pause your scroll. Abby's priority one. That's your hint. No, penguin. Check chat. How am I supposed to... You can't tell me in the chat to check the chat. F. Poggers. F, F, F. Help them out. Next time you can play a better game, like I said. That's a sad crying face. Thanks, Babs. Well, okay. I thought this was going to be a fun game. I'm still having some fun making friends. So. Get over it. Wait, actually, I want to see if I can... I should have enough to get a new penguin. I do, I do, I do. Okay. I'm gonna get the snow dragon penguin, because that just seems cool. Very cool. Ha <laughs> ha. I can learn about penguins. Oh! And then it takes you to a <gasps> Oh cute! We're on the penguins an emperor penguin. There's a gay penguin. Good. Japanese unicorn penguin. Russian firebird penguin. My buddy the dragon penguin. That was just a turtle. Titano penguin. There's a leopard seal. That's the meanie that keeps eating me. And then there's Alba the Albatross, who had a tough start in life and who has a name very suitable for an albatross. Okay, oh, that's really cool. There's also lots of, I'm assuming these are like videos where you can figure out like climate change. Oh, and it tells you like science and fiction and ocean circulation and wow. Okay, this game gets a lot more credit than I thought. I thought it was just funny penguins. But it tells you a lot about... Whoa! Raised sea level by 58 meters. Okay, so that earlier was like, it has raised this many over time. That's cool. Hi, hey, Mabel. Mabel needs attention. Hey. I know. I know, baby. Okay. So it tells you like a bunch of facts about some elements are fiction on your brain fun to play. Okay, that's cool. Also, rainbow penguins, dragon penguins, science for penguins, unicorn penguins, and phoenix penguins do not exist. Say it quietly. Cool. 
Time to party again. Full screen. I like this game. It is very good. It is very cute. We're almost done. We're doing great. And by we, I mean me. And Abby for sticking around for this. <laughs> Fastest slow speed. I think I already read this. Yeah. Because it raised the sea level by so much. Okay. I have stopped petting Mabel. And now... <gasps> oh! Oh my god, my penguin is so cool. Dude. Ice is too high. Ah! Oh my god, you can't do that. Mabel, open the door. So, she's being needy. Oh, stinky dog. Okay. Got some friends. Well, I can't really call them fish friends because I'm kind of eating them. But that's okay. That's how life works sometimes. Bye, stinky dog. I don't like that it makes noise when you kill them. I really don't. Wait, make it colder. <laughs> wow! You get 12 monies. I think Mabel's getting into something. That's fine. I could have sworn earlier it said you need two stars to like move on to the next level, but I guess I was totally wrong, which is fine. Okay, so this ice stream, these sections contribute a lot more to the sea rise level because the other ones were like centimeters. This is straight up meters. So it flows at 900 meters a year. That's fast, I think, comparatively. Bed height's 260, lowest bed height is 220. Two, two, I, you, you all can read. Below sea level, there's a total potential contrib- Oh, potential! Oh, so it's like an estimate of like, based on how big this iceberg is, we think it's probably melted this much and done this much, like, to the water. Cause you know, people are killing the earth and making it super toasty. Whatever. It's named after the recovery of the 1957 Commonwealth Trans-Antarctic Expeditions Vehicles from Crevices. That's long. But okay. Okay. Is it gonna- Ooh, Okay. The seagulls are my friend. The fishes are my- my dinner. Or breakfast. How many times a day do penguins eat? Put it in the chat below! Sign it! I don't know. I'm trying my best, okay? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to figure out how to like actually stream correctly. It's apparently this ain't it. But I'm having a good time. And playing an educational game. And people can watch me have a good time and play an educational game. And just vibe and we can all be friends. I'm doing pretty good at this level if I do say so myself. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get stars. Three stars. I might be able to if I can just get... I need one more high five or one more fish and it's not gonna happen. But I got 28 points so that's close to three stars. So like if we're rounding up and I got three stars. Okay. Last level. Let's do it. <sighs> Support Force Ice Stream. I have played it. There's 12 levels, and I've played some of them multiple times. I don't know if this is a sit down in one setting kind of game, because I'm kind of bored now. But fastest slow seeds 300 meters, heights 130, lowest bed is 1500 below sea level. The potential contribution to sea level rise is 86 centimeters. See, that compared to like almost six meters crazy name for the u.s naval support force antarctica there's a lot of like u.s things does that mean i can go to antarctica okay last round let's do this the seal is hiding under the ice and that stresses me out oh its mouth is kind of like trying to open it 
I wonder if like little kids are really good at this and I'm just stupid. Probably. <laughs> Kind of dance and I did it. I got three stars. The universe said good job on the last level. So there's what, a total of 36 stars possible, and I got 27. Well, actually, I got extra stars from quizzes, so maybe not. Regardless, I did great. Quiz round. Okay, I'm gonna go, like, back and forth to the chat, and Abby, you're gonna help me. Are you still there? Okay. How may an ice shelf stabilize a marine ice sheet? It doesn't play a part in the stability of a marine ice sheet. The friction at the base of the ice shelf helps to betress the ice sheet. The friction at the side of the ice shelf helps to do the same thing. But let's see what Abby says. Abby, you there? <laughs> oh yeah. <gasps> That's profanity! Profanity on our good Christian stream. Technically it kinda is, because Hendrix is a Methodist school. I think number two. I number two and number three are the same, but okay. Oh, they weren't the same thing. I just can't read. Most of it was the same. So, um, you failed. You get a zero for penguin knowledge. Have a look at iceflowsgame.com. Is it over? Or are we just gonna wait and vibe for the next? To Okay, how could the effects of marine ice sheet instability hypothesis be? I don't know what the hy- It's a lot of words. By increasing snowfall through bedrock rebounding as a result of less ice sheet weight through variation in ice stream flow speed. Abby? Says you, OMG. Look, I have been very good on this stream, and I have not- said any profanity because this is educational the first one i really don't know i don't know either man this is just gonna be weekly oh they're all right weekly i play a game and i talk to abby so tune in every monday at 11. how many penguins made how many can't read how may penguins be affected by changing ice sheet behavior? Bigger ice sheets mean the penguin can get some more fish. I don't think so. Smaller ice sheets mean the penguin gets more fish. Icebergs can change ice conditions, preventing the penguins from getting to open water. I think smaller sheets mean more fish. Let's see what Abby has to say. Abby says they think the last one. Okay, I like the cute little part. Appreciate it. Let's see. Abby, you're a genius. I'm so proud of you. If the whole Rome Flitcher ice shelf was to break up and melt, how that one was relatively small, so my vote is 50 centimeters. Abby, thoughts? Haha, <laughs> you were right. I'm proud of you. Good job. Also, there's a bit of a lag, which is interesting. I would agree. Either 50 or a few. It was more than a few, because most of them were, like, anywhere between 10 and 15. One meter is way too big. Yeah. Some of them on the other ones were straight up, like, one of them was, like, 5.9 some meters, which is... Okay, that's fine. I think it was 50, but apparently I'm wrong. What does the marine ice sheet and stability hypothesis state? I don't know. I thought a marine ice sheet can never be in a steady state. 